A command item enables you to trigger an action just by playing a media item. In true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I made earlier, or several actually. In this command item, I use it to put the players into preview mode, which allows me, when using the log, to prefade the media item without it messing my timings up or making the log feel as if it's moved on when it hasn't. It allows me to prefade it on the actual fader it will play from, which is great, especially if your items are a bit all over the place in terms of loudness. Let's look at it by clicking on Edit in the Home tab of the ribbon toolbar. The command item has this black background with white text on it, and we have our command here to force player 1 into preview mode. All the various commands are listed to the left of the input screen. If we scroll down to this command, it gives us the syntax to use to create it. You have the command, and then in brackets is where you have to fill out some detail. Station ID is the ID number associated to the station that you are in. And this would normally be zero, but you can check in your database settings. The player index is the player number, so we want one in there. And then you can put it either in clear, request, or force. That's how we ended up with zero, comma, one, comma, force in the brackets. To activate it, just going to double click on it. And you can now see down at the bottom that player one is in preview mode. If we look at the next one, this clears the preview on player one. So in this one, instead of force, we have clear in the command. Whilst we are here, the media item doesn't quite look right as it uh, has a sweeper icon on it. As this has been set in the media ranges for the range in which this media item is in, let's uh, click on edit and remove the tick next to play as a sweeper. Now, once we save our changes, we've ended up with a command icon being shown correctly. There is documentation on the commands available in the help menu. Help, then documentation and display available command processor macro commands. That tells you their usage and how to write them out, their syntax.